Three two. There's a drive. High and deep. Way way back and gone. Number 10 for Big Poppy, and that makes it a 5 3 game. And that's the first hit he's ever had against McHugh, and it's a long one. After wasting a fastball up and in, he goes with a cut fastball to Ortiz, and David jumps all over it. He's hit seven home runs in his last 14. Runner at first, two away here in the bottom of the ninth. Shout out to left center field. There's Marissa going back on the track. He can't get it. Here comes Bogarts in the third. He's rounding. He's coming in. Poppy's heading for third base. He has a slide in triple. And this game is tied. Tell you what, two things. First of all, that ball's smoked by David Ortiz, but it was also a bad play by Maristic. He didn't read that well at all in center field. There's the contact made, and Maristic went sideways on this ball instead of back. And by the time he gets back to it and dives, he's got no chance. So Think of the little things that have happened in this game for the Red Sox to tie it up. And a winning was for Boston. Here comes the 2 2 from Feliz. High fly ball, right center field. Marisnik back to the triangle. Long, long, long run. He won't get it. And the Red Sox walk off with the win. How do you like that? Big puppy again. An extraordinary final season in the making. He ties the game in the ninth with a triple. He wins it in the 11th with a double. And that's a record setter. That is his 600th double that ties Hank Aaron and Barry Bonds as the only players in history with 600 of those and 500 homers. And he carries the bag, second base off of them. That's the reason why. A record setter. What a moment. And a career of extraordinary moments. He's done it again. Red Sox win it in 11, 6 to 5. David Ortiz destroying one into the triangle. But a game winner. Time and time again. This is the 20th time he's had a walk-off hit. That looked to me to be a change-up, and it was. And it's the second time he saw that pitch and that at bat, and he was not fooled the second time that he saw it. Good job staying back by Ortiz. The long fly ball. The only question was, was the center fielder going to be able to catch up to it? The answer, no. Bottom of the wall game. And then you get to act like seven-year-olds. <laughs> what a day for Ortiz. What a day for the Red Sox. Oh. It was a fascinating ball game, Jerry. It, it, it was a terrific game. It really was a lot to watch. An exciting ball game, and it couldn't have been a better finish for Red Sox fans. Uh-oh, look out. <laughs> Let's go down to Gareth. All right. All right, guys, I'm standing here with uh, 